Your Excellencies, may I request we remain standing and as true Nigerians, let's take the national prayer of our dear country, Nigeria. And I request you say it after me. O God of creation, direct our noble course, guide our leaders right, help our youth the truth to know, in love and honesty to grow, a living just and true. Great lofty hide attain to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign. Thank you very much as we take our seat. In creating the heavens and the earth, and all that dwells within and in between, the Almighty never had to consult anybody. After all, his omnipotent, omniscient and merciful, one whose actions are beyond being passive. We are here for the commissioning of operational vehicles, motorcycles, and of course vehicles to be so performed by His Excellency, the Governor of the United States, Senator Obasani. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, having 150 vehicles and 50 motorcycles to be so commissioned out of the zeal and magnanimous and benevolent gesture of His Excellency the Governor. And say security is really very, very, very important. I mentioned it earlier, 500 motorcycles, 150 vehicles. Your Excellency, the Governor of the State, Senator Obasari, our dear mother, Deputy Governor, Dr. Sabo Balarabi, the Honorable Speaker, the Senate of Assembly, Right Honorable, Lima, the Special Guest of Honor, who doubles as the Chief of Defense Staff, General Kiki Busa, the representative of the Chief of the A Staff, the IG of Police, the Chief of Army Staff here present, representatives of the National Security Advisor. May I, the custodian, the Chairman of the Council of Chiefs, may I excuse protocols and come back to it later as I acknowledge every personality here. Very quickly, inviting personalities that will so invoke the presence of Almighty so that we bless his blessing. And I wish to invite the Chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Reverend Caleb Maaji, and the Chair of the Martin Nostra Islam, Professor Shofiu Abdullahi, to lead us in prayer. May I so invite these clergy to please step in here as we take the opening prayer, please. Faith based prayer. Reverend Caleb Maji and Professor Shafi Abdullahi, please. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, Subhanahu wa Taala. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this fruitful occasion. Allah ka teme ki gawr hinjar ka duna. Allah ka teme ki gawr hinjar ka duna. And I like you. That is the campo dhu. Allah humma inni asa aluka bi alfi alfi la hawla wa la muwad hana wa dhu al-fasim. Wa asa alka Allah kumma risiri ismika al-hayu al-qayyum al-lazi la ya muwad abadan. Allah kutim kiwannan taru, Allah kutsingi al-barka chikinsa, li al-barka al-fatiha gabadi bismillahi rahmani rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, rahmani rahim maliki yomi dini iya kana abdu wa iya kana sayin, kaitna surat al-mustaqin wa surat al-lazi yam ta'ala bihir mandiri wa yadu wa kwa ahli wa ahli subhana, rabbil harabi isti wa rasul, wa salamu ala rasulayin, kama lillahi rabbil alameen. In Jesus' name we are praying. A grateful to our Father, our Lord and our Redeemer, we are most sincerely grateful to you for your sustenance, for your leadership, for your preservation. We are grateful to you because you are the author of life, you are the preserver and the sustainer. We are grateful to you, Father, for the privilege to witness this effort-making event. Father, we are using this opportunity to most sincerely thank you for 
all the dignitaries invited and all of us that are here, thank you for the safety. We are grateful because, Lord, you allowed us to witness this occasion. We pray, Father, that you will take the lead in all that we shall be doing. It's our heart desire that the end result shall be glory ascribed to you, while the blessings be ours. We similarly pray, Father, for wisdom for our leader, the executive governor of Kaduna State and his team. We appreciate it because every wisdom needed to pilot the affairs of this dear state, you graciously endow unto them. Father, we pray that every occasion, in this occasion, every event that shall take place, may you be honored and be glorified. This we ask in Jesus' name. Well, thank you very much. I don't know, DJ, what's your name? Okay, thank you. Thank you, please. Uh, your Excellences, uh, may I apologize for the technical hiccup? Hello, thank you, please. We apologize for our technical issue. Now invited, ladies and gentlemen, a prolific writer, a former spokesperson to the governor, a graduate of mass communication, and of course, the overseeing commissioner, Minister of Internal Security, um, Hona Piers, Mr. Samuel Aruan, as we welcome all of us in here. Let's celebrate him as his step up, Mr. Samuel Aruan, please. Your Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, the National Security Advisor ably represented by Major General Adamu Garba Laka, National Coordinator, National Center for Counterterrorism, the Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa, the Chief of Army Staff, ably represented, the Chief of the AS Staff, ably represented by Air Officer Commanding, Air Training Command, Air Vice Marshal E.E. E. Ananaba, the Inspector General of Police, who is also ably represented here, the Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General J.O. Ochai, His Royal Highness, the Emir of Zazo, and their Royal Highnesses present here, the Emir of Birnungwari, Pop Gong, and other notable traditional rulers from the frontline locations. The GOC of Third Division is also represented here. Members of the National Assembly from Kaduna State, the Speaker, Kaduna State House of Assembly and members, members of the Kaduna State Executive Council, members of Kaduna State Security Council, chairman of the 23 local government areas, uh, leadership of JNI and Khan, our gallant officers and men of the armed forces, police and all security agencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, gentlemen of the press. It is my most sincere honor to welcome you all to the commissioning of 150 operational vehicles and 500 motorcycles purchased for distribution to security agencies by Kaduna State Government. The Government of Kaduna State, under His Excellency Senator Obasani, has in the last one year given unbroken focus to security of citizens. Our activity here today is another strong demonstration of that commitment to the vision of a prosperous, safe and secure Kaduna State. With the direction and support of His Excellency, the Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs has continued to pursue its mandate, comprising, among other things, liaising and coordinating collaborative efforts with federal and state security agencies. The Ministry has continued to enjoy a robust and productive relationship with all the federal security agencies. We have found in them steadfast and willing partners and we will continue to cooperate 
towards combating banditry, terrorism, and other forms of criminality in Kaduna State. Today, as we pursue another avenue for cooperation, we remain immensely grateful for the supportive stance of the National Security Advisor, the Chief of Defense Staff, all the service chiefs, and heads of security agencies. We deeply appreciate the numerous sacrifices that they make in upholding our partnership. We know too clearly the importance of mobility to security effort. Bandits and criminals have learned to use the difficult terrain of hard to reach areas to their advantage. With these vehicles, however, there will be a marked enhancement in responsive capability. This is why we are excited to facilitate the commissioning and presentation of these enablers to security agencies. I express our heartfelt thanks to the National Security Advisor, the Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs, and the heads of all our partnering security agencies for being here with us in Kaduna today. Standing together in this commitment, we are grateful for your partnership and for your willing and prompt cooperation. We are grateful to all our distinguished guests, force commanders, lawmakers, traditional and religious leaders, as well as stakeholders for your presence and support. When the governor will come on board uh, to make his speech, he will give you details of how this uh, distribution will be made. And he will also speak more about the importance of mobility and his commitment towards security and safety of the citizens of Kaduna State. Uh, finally, we are using this avenue again uh, to, take, to thank all of you who have come here. And we want to assure you that the security agencies will make good use of these enablers. It is on this note that I wish to welcome you to Kaduna and the rest of the program will continue. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, sir. Your Excellency, very quickly, moving to the next, which is goodwill message. And may I for you want the Inspector General of Police, IDP Kayode Ebitopo, here represented by the DID Supervisor Northwest Zone, who double has the logistic and supply DID M. Bellu. Sir, over to you. Let's celebrate him, please. Let's step up for him. Your Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, Senator Ubasani, the National Security Advisor ably represented, the Chief of our Defense Staff, Major C.G. Musa, other representatives of other service uh, chiefs that are here and other senior military officers, the Zonal Assistant Inspector General of Police here present, our royal fathers, our very distinguished invited guests and dignitaries here present, a good afternoon. I bring you the warm greetings of the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Ebetubu, PhD, FPM. He will have not to be here, but he was engaged in another national assignment. Uh, so he asked me to represent him. He will have not to be here personally to condone the governor over the loss of his uh, brother. Uh, so Your Excellency accepts the sincere condolences of the IGP over the loss of uh, your deceased brother. Your Excellency, on behalf of the Inspector General of Police, I want to sincerely thank the state government under your able leadership for this humongous uh, support of security. The donation of 150 operational vehicles and motorcycles will no doubt boost the crime-fighting effort of security agencies and will enhance their efficiency and add value to fight against crime and criminality in the state. Patrol is one of the backbones of crime-preventive measures, and as such, 
the donation of these patrol vehicles is quite thoughtful and commendable. And I hope other state government will take cue from this uh, laudable gesture and give security priority attention. Let me emphasize the importance of uh, collaboration between government and security agencies. At the same time, too, the synergy and collaboration between security agencies in the fight against crime. This is uh, something that we have to uh, look at uh, so that we achieve a common purpose of maintaining the public space. And Nigeria Police is committed to its core mandate of providing uh, safety and security to its citizens. Your Excellency, we appreciate this laudable objective of sharing these operational vehicles. We thank you a lot, and I thank you for listening, and God bless. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. The next good old message is coming from the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal H.B. Abakar, who is here represented by Air Vice Marshal Enin Anenaba, the Air Officer Commanding Air Training Command, Nigerian Air Force Kaduna. Sir, how about you? Let's celebrate him, sir. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Senator Obasani, Representative of the National Security Advisor, the Chief of General Staff, Chief of Defense Staff, General C. G. Musa, Representatives of Service Chiefs, Inspector General of Police, other security agencies here present and let me generally greet the good people of Kaduna State. I see the Emir of Zazo here. I understand the Emir of uh, Brainingwari is also here. I extend the respects of the Chief of Air Staff to you all. I am here this morning representing the Chief of Air Staff Air Marshal Hassan Bala Abubakar, distinguished flying star, who for unavoidable reasons could not be here this afternoon. However, he extends his greetings to the good people of Kaduna State. The Chief of Air Staff is highly pleased with this gesture which the Governor of Kaduna State is doing. He particularly recognizes the significant infrastructural development that has taken place in Kaduna. And relating the infrastructural development, he believes that the security of the state will enable the state to take advantage of this infrastructural development for its progress. There is so much potential within Kaduna State that nothing should be allowed to hinder the progress of Kaduna State. As such, the Chief of Air Staff is highly pleased that the Nigerian Air Force is going to benefit from this distribution of vehicles being done by the good people of Kaduna State today. And he particularly asked me to express our commitment to the good use of these vehicles for the security of Kaduna State and by extension for the progress of Kaduna State. He also wants us to extend our appreciation to the good people of Kaduna State for the fact that Kaduna State has been a very, very good host of the Nigerian Air Force. This is where the premier base of the Nigerian Air Force was established and since we have been here we have had a very good working relationship with the people of Kaduna State and look forward to maintaining that relationship. So that commitment for security of the state is something that we hold in high esteem and we will continue to work towards ensuring that Kaduna State 
is prosperous. Cardinal said, is taken to the level that which is supposed to be. Once again, greetings from the Chief of Esther to the good people of Kaduna State. May God bless Kaduna State. May God bless the Nigerian Air Force. May God bless the Armed Forces of Nigeria. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Still for the brief little message inviting the Chief of Armed Staff, Lieutenant General T. E. Lugbaja, here represented by Brigadier General M. A. Connor. So, to the podium, please. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Senator Obasani, the representative of the National Security Advisor here present, the Special Guest of Honor, and the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Guadu Musa, Your Royal Highness, the Emir of Zozo and other Royal Fathers here present. Permit me to stand on existing protocol. Uh, let me start by expressing the apologies of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tauri Dabiorun Lagbaja, who would have loved to be here in person, but for other exigencies of duty. May I, on behalf of the Nigerian Army, express our gratitude for His Excellency's unwavering support and general donation of the Hilux vehicles and motorcycles to enhance the security in Kaduna State and by extension, Nigeria at large. Your Excellency, sir, your commitment to the safety and security of the good people and residents of Kaduna State has not gone unnoticed, and your collaboration with the Nigerian Army is greatly valued. Your donation of these silos, vehicles, and motorcycles will undoubtedly bolster our efforts at maintaining peace and security in Kaduna State and, by extension, Nigeria. Your support, sir, serves as a testament of your dedication to the well-being of the good people of Kaduna State. Once again, may I, on behalf of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General, Thank you immensely for your kind and generous donation of these uh, vehicles. Thank you so much, sir. Well, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite for special remarks on this side the National Security Advisor, Madam Novo Rivado. Here represented by the National Coordinator of Comtate Rodison Center, Office of the National Security Advisor, Major General A.J. Laka. Let's give him this order about this. General Yawapo, please. Yes, sir. Okay. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Senator Obasani, the Chief of Defense Staff, representatives of the service chiefs, representatives, representative of the Inspector General of Police, other security agencies here present, our royal fathers, members of the winning team of the, of the Kaduna State Executive Council, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This day marks another milestone in the administration of the very amiable Executive Governor of Kaduna State, His Excellency, Senator Sani Uba, 
as he commissions operational vehicles and motorcycles. This shows the much concern His Excellency has for security. Nigeria is facing various security challenges ranging from terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, and secessionist agitation. And in line with the national counterterrorism strategy and national security strategy, we need to come together to address these challenges. This is the whole of government and whole of society approach. As a serving military personnel, I know the value of these enablers to our troops. It will not only boost the morale and efficiency of the troops in the field, but will also enhance their operations, enabling them to respond to emergencies. I always see His Excellency having meetings with the National Security Advisor. And I often wondered why he was always having these meetings. I conducted my investigations and I found out that His Excellency has identified that there can be no development. The citizens will not be able to reap the dividends of democracy without security. We thank you very much, Your Excellency. So on behalf of the National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhuribadu, we pray the Almighty Allah continue to guide and bless the good people of Kaduna State. Hello. Hola. Hello. Executive Governor of Kaduna States, our own dear Governor, very performing Governor, very dedicated and committed Governor, someone who we are very, very proud of, His Excellency Senator Comrade Ubasani, the Deputy Governor of Kaduna States, our representative of the National Security Officer. Advisor, the representative of the service chiefs and the uh, Inspector General of Police, our royal fathers, other security agencies here, invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. To me, it is a great pleasure to be here this afternoon. Standing here, you can see that even the weather is friendly. It shows the commitment of our Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State. We want to appreciate you, sir, for what you are doing. I'm sure everybody knows once you drive into Kaduna, any part of Kaduna that you drive in, you know that the atmosphere has changed. It is the atmosphere of friendliness, of commitment, of understanding, of carrying everybody along. We say thank you and God bless you. It is with great pleasure and gratitude that I stand before you today to mark a significant milestone in our journey towards enhancing the operational capabilities of the armed forces of Nigeria and other security agencies. 
Today, we gather to commemorate the commissioning of operational vehicles generously donated by the Kaduna State Governor in support of our noble mission to protect our nation and to defend our people. I would like to express our heartfelt appreciation to the Kaduna State Government under the leadership of His Excellency, Governor Wasani, for the invaluable donation of these operational vehicles. 500 motorcycles, 150 Hilux vehicles. This is what we show and what we say about commitment. It is not only talking about it, it is by doing it and doing it by example. The gesture of solidarity and support underscores the strong partnership between the armed forces, security agencies and the government at both state and federal levels. The provision of these vehicles and motorcycles will undoubtedly bolster our operational readiness, enhance our mobility, and further strengthen our capacity to safeguard the security and sovereignty of our beloved country. I must commend the dedication, professionalism, and sacrifice of our officers and soldiers who continue to serve with unwavering commitment and bravery. It is through these selfless efforts that we are able to uphold the principles of peace, security, and stability across our nation. The addition of these operational vehicles will not only facilitate our strategic mobility, but also serve as a testament to the enduring spirit of the Nigerian Armed Forces and other security agencies. As we commission these operational vehicles today, let us recommit ourselves to the noble cause of defending our nations with honor and integrity. Let us harness the capabilities of these vehicles to further enhance our operational effectiveness, protect our communities, and uphold the values of loyalty, courage, and unity that define our armed forces. Together we stand as guardians of peace, guardians of freedom, and guardians of the Nigerian people. In conclusion, let me sincerely express our profound gratitude to the President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, President Ahmed Bola Tinubu GCFR for his commitment and support to Kaduna State, to the North, to the Armed Forces of Nigeria and other security agencies, and every able person that is peace-loving to this dear country. It is with pride that I stand here as the son of the soil today that we are commissioning these vehicles. It shows the spirit of commitment. Some time before now, it has been difficult to see how people smile within the state. But the love and togetherness carrying everybody along has made a great difference. And we are sure that God is with us and God will continue to give us victory. I want to thank especially our royal fathers for their prayers, for their commitment. We are not yet where we want to be, but we are moving there. And God willing, within the shortest possible time, total peace will be restored to Kaduna State. And we want to appeal to all of us to join hands together to support the security agencies, support the government of the day. The governor and his team have shown us that they cannot do it alone. They need everybody's support. So I want to use this opportunity to solicit for our entire support to the governor to enable him achieve his mandate of restoring peace and development to our wonderful state, Kaduna State. Once again, I extend my deepest gratitude to the Kaduna State Governor for the generous contribution and wavering support. May this operational vehicle serve as a symbol of our shared commitment to safeguarding our nation and securing a brighter future for our generations. Let me use this opportunity to also appeal to Kaduna State citizens. Please, because these vehicles are not are here, does not mean we should just go to sleep. We need two things. We should watch out and report when things are happening. We should equally watch our security agencies, what they are doing, to ensure that they are doing the right thing. Giving them these vehicles, like somebody mentioned, is not an automatic ticket to turn into something else for personal gains. It is to be used to secure our citizens and our states. Once again, thank you very much. God bless you all. Well, thank you very much. That has been the Chief of Defense Staff, General C.J. Thank you. Excellency, 
for the time we listen to the rocks and get down to the nitty gritty of today's occasion. That is the commissioning of operational vehicles, 150 knots, and motorcycles, 500 knots. I get to see the government. that combines philosophical stuff our dear quickly The deputy gonna the deputy governor of Kaduna State, an excellency. Dr. Adiza Sabwa Balarebe, the National Security Advisor, Malen Nuhurubadu, ably represented by Major General Adam Laka, the Chief of Defense Staff, our very own, my brother, General Christopher Musa, the Chief of Army Staff, ably represented by the GOC, one division, the Chief of Air Staff, heavily represented by the AOC, the Inspector General of Police, heavily represented by DIG Bello, His Royal Highness, the Emir of Zazo, the Emir of Benengwari, Pope Gon, and other notable traditional rulers from the front line locations here present. The GOC, third division ably represented the commandant of the NDA, my friend, who is also here with us. The speaker of the Cardinal State House of Assembly, members of the State House of Assembly and members of the National Assembly here present. Order invited dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely delighted to welcome you all to this effort making event. We are gathered here to take a giant step in our collective efforts at enhancing the security and well being of the people of Kaduna State. Before I continue, let me first express my deep gratitude to the National Security Advisor the Chief of Defense Staff, the Inspector General of Police, for their unwavering support and for honoring us here today. We are inspired by your leadership and commitment to the security of our nation. I must also thank our partners in security collaboration, service chiefs, head of security agencies, First Commandants, as well as our critical partners, traditional and religious leaders with their tireless efforts. The safety and security of our citizens remains paramount. It is our duty as a government to support the security agencies in carrying out their vital responsibilities. We recognize the challenges confronting our security personnel, especially in terms of mobility and swiftly assessing remote areas. Improved mobility means that security operators can respond faster and more efficiently to distress costs. It means that our security forces 
can more easily seize the initiative. It is also means that citizens can feel safer because of the more visible security presence. However, today's commissioning and distribution of vehicles and motorcycles is not just about providing work tools. It is about demonstrating our continued support to security forces. It is about empowering our security personnel, showing them that we value their sacrifices and supporting them in their mission to protect and serve. At this point, let me acknowledge and salute all the brave security personnel who have paid the ultimate price in the cause of securing our state. They shall never be forgotten. In this regard, I have directed the Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs to name the Ministry Conference Hall after late Lieutenant Colonel A. Ali, who had served and contributed immensely to the security of Kaduna State when he was commanding officer 198 Special Forces Battalion before he was transferred to the South South where he, along with his officers and soldiers, lost their lives. May their soul rest in peace. Apart from the distribution of operational vehicles and motorcycles, our administration has taken other proactive measures to enhance the security of Kaduna State. I recently signed the Kaduna State Trust Fund Bill into law. This will ensure funding support toward effort to degrade bandits and terrorists in the state with the productive engagement of the private sector. The trust fund will raise funds for the acquisition and deployment of even more security equipment, personnel and material, as well as training. We are equally leading the cause for the security reforms toward the establishment of state police in Nigeria. I commend the National Assembly members from the State for identifying with this cause. The Kornelstead government is also enhancing the security of schools, health facilities, and markets, among other very important locations. We are scaling up intelligence gathering across the state and strengthening collaboration with security agencies. To our partners, the security agencies, be assured that we are committed to providing you with the support you need to perform your duties effectively. Your dedication and professionalism are the backbone of our security strategy. Let this vehicle and motorcycle become symbol of hope and safety for our communities. My gratitude goes to the Chief of Defense Staff and Service Team for agreeing to side a special force brigade and more forward operating bases in Kaduna State. It is a gesture that I, as a governor, do not take for granted. Let me seize this opportunity to make an appeal to the chief of the air, sir, to consider setting up a unit of Nigerian Air Force Regiment Millennium City Kaduna. This will greatly complement the security mechanism in that area of interest. I commend the Nigerian Navy for their remarkable contribution to security in Kachia general area. I urge them to extend their presence to other frontline locations. I plan to visit the Chief of Naval Staff soon to make abuse for more significant presence in Kaduna State. I want to thank all commanders officers and men of the armed forces, the police, the DSS, the NSCDC, the citizens that form the bulwark of our human intelligence network for their resilience in all theaters of operations. From Operation Wild Punch, Section 3, 4, 5, and 6, Sector 7, of Operation Safe Haven, 
the air component of Operation Wild Punch, the police component, the DSS SWAT team, and the DS operatives scattered across various front line locations. The police under the Kaduna State Command and the NSCDC State Command, and our Kaduna State Regional Service, who are working tirelessly to complement the conventional security forces. At this juncture, I would like to especially thank the Inspector General of Police for his generous support to Kaduna State just two months ago by providing us with two more extra APCs a motor by goods, as well as 200 special modern police that are well trained, that are now in various locations in Kaduna State. I say thank you to the instruction of police for that gesture. I also appreciate the operatives who man the security operations room of the Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs. They are on hand 24 hours a day to receive incident reports from across the state and even beyond. The process, this report, for instant action by security agencies. I would like to, to take this opportunity to thank the people of Kaduna State for their patience and cooperation. Security is a collective responsibility, and their support is crucial to the success of these initiatives. I will continue to deepen participatory security management with citizens of the state. Together, we can build a safer and more secure environment for all. In conclusion, let me retrace our administration's unwavering commitment to the safety and security of Kaduna State. We will continue to invest in more enablers for our personnel and work collectively with all the stakeholders to ensure a peaceful and secure environment for our people. Together, let us move Kaduna forward with determination and resolve, knowing that the Sefa Kaduna is within our reach. Finally, it is my honor and privilege to invite the Chief of Defense Staff, my brother, General Christopher Musa, to commission 150 patrol vehicles and 500 motorcycles. Thank you and God bless you all.
Governor is our operational vehicle. And now the Governor will serve a strong one of the state vehicles. This, the Chief of Defense staff is there. And I can see the Director, SSL Secretary of the State, is entering equity. Test run by the governor. And now the governor will to own one of the same vehicles. Please, the chief of defense staff is there. And I uh, is entering equity. 